What's going on, guys? Jada Black here. Salute to everyone that's tuning in. I want to talk about Masika. Okay, Masika is a reality TV personality. I've spoken about her before. Uh, she decided to respond to a BBW who was a part of a Zeus Network show, uh, Baddies West. Her name is <laughs> Goldie Roly Poly Martin. Now, she revealed that she had a double BBL, not just a BBL. She had a double BBL. Now, I'm going to show y'all what Roly Poly looks like. And this was uh, pre-BBL, but I the, the post-BBL, and I can't really show it here unless I go into some photos. But she basically looked similar. She had a little bit more waist. Uh, they gave her a little bit more backside, but that was about it. Okay. And I guess people are giving her a hard time and she decided to respond. Now, as a matter of fact, I'll have the, uh, the photos on the website. Y'all can go and check it out. But to Roly Poly, she's upset because our people are responding. Masika was basically saying, listen, um, you should not be getting a BBL at your size. Okay. Because at her weight, a lot of times, you know, it's going to be very difficult to them to be able to do necessary things that she wants because it's a lot of women who just have bad bodies, bad built bodies who are going to get BBLs, but they're not as big as her. But see, that's the problem. See, these women think that they're one BBL away from having the body that they want and attracting the men that they want. Instead of them putting the work in by dieting and exercising, they should invest in the, into that. It's a lot cheaper than going out here and getting these BBLs and not really having the results that is going to make, you know, is going to make you appear the way that you want. So let's get into this article from Hello Beautiful. Uh, it says, Baddies West star Roly Poly, whose real name is Goldie Martin, is documenting her plastic surgery journey. The confident plus size queen with an even bigger personality showed off the first round of the results of her double BBL at Gold's Plastic Surgery, Roly set social media on fire when she posted she was moments away from going under the knife and even recorded herself on the table in a video that left critics up in arms. Now, the other posts would have showed what she looks like, so I'm not going to show that. Uh, but she did not like the responses that she was getting. I mean, how do you expect people to respond? You're lying on an operating table recording yourself, right? In this post here, as you can see, it says, if y'all slow bleep been following my journey, you will know I'm getting all of that done. It's the process. It's a process. My back will be done in two months. My tummy tuck is in six months and my arms are the same time along with the uh, breast reduction, just effing watch. So she's basically saying in about six months or so, she's going to have a different body instead of her working out and exercising, because you could probably get the body you want in less time. You get with the right trainers, you know, the right nutrition program, you will have the body that you want six to eight months, but you're going through surgery. You're going to have to heal from. Okay. And let's say that the results aren't what you want. You're going to go right back under the knife. Is it really worth it? Right? Sur the surgery is such an easy, like fix for these women to do. And I say that because these women should not be seeking to go and get work done at places that at, at, get these BBLs and tummy to all that, because it's all about a race to see if they can get as much attention as other women. That's all this is. Is this really going to change your life? Roly poly. You're still going to be roly poly, right? You're going to still be that chick that had all that work done. You know, is it really going to change your life that much? But that's the thing. These women are so obsessed with, with male attention. They'll tell you that it's not about male attention, but it's about male attention. And don't let them fool you into thinking that it's not about male attention because that's exactly what it's about. That's why they do this. That's why they do this. In the clip on Instagram page, Rolly described her areas of concern as her belly, arms, and her back. She went on to describe how taking uh, the injections helped curve her appetite. 
and she doesn't crave as much sugar or greasy foods and increase her water intake ever since I've been taking the shots. I've noticed a change in my body. Roly got her nickname on One More Chance where she competed for former I Love New York star Chance Love, Chance's Love on the Wild Reality TV Rodeo. Reality TV Rodeo. Despite her high self-esteem, Roly revealed that she was taking uh, these injections to assist her weight loss preparation to undergo flex scope surgery. Well, you know, you could take those shots and you can cut back and you can probably lose all that weight now you may not have the curves that you want when you lose it maybe that's what she's trying to do here but to me people are going to have concerns right in an update the bolsterous beauty revealed that she lost four pounds as she continued the injections now let's get to this issue with her and masika Says reactions. Roly's surgery has garnered countless reactions and comments from fans and critics who have expressed concern over Roly's BMI body mass index and if she's a safe candidate for surgery. Former love and hip hop personality Masika spawned a reply from Roly when she wrote, Wait, this ain't safe or smart. Your BMI gotta be under a certain number to safely perform this and most cosmetic procedures is supposed to be between 18 to 25 girl don't risk it boo and what if doctor what the f doctor would perform this procedure on her a doctor that needs some money a doctor that that wants the money that's the one that's going to uh that's the one who's going to perform the procedure okay now i guess this is hold on let's see all right, and this is her response. It says, first off, be the F quiet. You don't know what you're talking about. My BMI for my size is beyond good. I am beyond healthy and I have lost weight. My procedure was great and I got the results I was looking for and I'm not done. Worry about you and your life. Worry about you and your life must got a lot of misery. All right. And she said, Masika responded by saying, girl, shut your dumb bleep the F up. I was being nice, actually genuinely concerned for your foolish ass. I don't give a F what your BMI is. It ain't under the number. The damn board of plastic surgery stipulates, but B want to risk dying for a God damn PBL, you salty as F on live for a free procedure broadcasting your business to the whole world with a million people commenting, but you only big mad at me. My comment, which was purely out of genuine concern, where it is F. If you don't want anyone to be concerned for your health, opt to pay next time. And don't tell the whole world. Shaking my head. Everybody in the universe can comment, but they got, but they get tight as f when Sika say something. Well, you know, you're a very opinionated woman, Masika. That's why they're they're in their feelings because, you know, you're very opinionated and you you you're an expert. You know, nobody's more of an expert, I would say, than Masika. Masika's gotten a ton of work done. So. If she's telling you these things, she's telling you these things because she's been through them. And she's telling you, you know, because, because you know, Masika had a body that didn't need the work that she had done to it. But she got the work done anyway because she wanted a sculpted body like most of these women. So many of these heifers look alike. And you can tell the ones that have gotten surgery. I see the women working out in the videos on Instagram. You look at their bodies. You even look at their before and afters. The, the BBLers are not going to show you the before and afters, but they will show you in the gym like that. They done put so much work in your doctor put that work in. You didn't put no work in. OK, you just you just perpetrating like you put that work in. But we know that doctor put that work in. That's why you will not put up a before and after because your doctor did the work. The gym didn't do that work. But most of these chicks have that BBL body. The BBL community continues to grow every single day the bbl community is a a fast growing community 
And Roly Poly wants to be a part of that. She wants to be a part of the BBL community, like most of these people. And all their bodies look alike. So Roly Poly, she 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 no longer wants to be Roly Poly. She wants to look like these robotic body looking women, these mannequin body looking women. That's how they want to look. You know, she might want that Masika look. A lot of these chicks are getting BBLs and they all look the same. That's why most of them ain't even in a relationship because they all look the same. These men used to actually have to look at these women who had different body types. Now, a lot of these women have the same body types. They all are looking alike. There is no difference because they're all obsessed with having that Instagram model BBL type body. And they're willing to put their lives at risk in order to do it. They're willing to do that, which shows you where these women are in 2023. They're so obsessed with attention. They can lie and say it ain't about men all they want to, but the reality is who are you doing it for? You damn sure ain't doing it for yourself. You are not doing it for yourself. Are you doing it for your career? What career? An what, OnlyFans career? That's the only type of career I see you trying to go into. So let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know your thoughts, like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll see y'all next.